Hello and welcome to this half Bigfoot, half data science, half mystery video. I make data science videos now. I recently made a video discussing some of my favourite Bigfoot documentaries. Um, not very many people have seen it. <laughs> if, you, if you haven't seen it, please take a look. And if you're interested in this kind of content, please like and subscribe. In the last video, I mentioned some analysis by Josh Stevens on data from the Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization, also known as the BFRO. Well, I managed to get hold of this data too. At the end of the video, I will show you a fast animation so that you can see how Bigfoot sightings have changed over time, or at least how the BFRO data set has changed over time. There are obviously a lot of sightings missing from this data and that problem seems to get worse as you go back. Massive thanks go to the BFRO and to Timothy Renner. I used the BFRO underscore report underscore locations CSV dataset, which Timothy Renner uploaded to data.world. The links are in the notes below the video. The data was collected 25th of October 2017, so 2017 data is incomplete. A lot of sightings are reported later, so 2017 looks really thin at the moment. The actuaries among you may have ways to project 2017 to ultimate, and if you do, please comment below. So first, a bit about the approach I used. In my previous job, we used R to present geographic data in a slightly different way, usually to show frequency or severity by area. This would involve colouring in postcodes or districts, also known as zip codes. For the Bigfoot map, I had to show sightings as a dot, so I got some new skills. I started with the Milano tutorial from Max Marchi, which is linked below. By the time I'd finished that tutorial, I had a Google map in R, showing airport locations in Europe. Almost everything in that output was wrong for me, but it was a great place to start. All I had to do was shift the map so that the USA was in the center and replace the flight data with Bigfoot observations, which makes it sound almost too easy. This is a great example of a typical programming problem. I started out knowing how to use R, but not really knowing how to do any of this. Initially, I worked with the BFRO website, and you won't believe this, I manually attempted to convert their freeform text descriptions into precise geographical coordinates. Although this was really fascinating, it was clear that it was going to take me the rest of the year. All of the reports from one town ended up as one dot on the big map anyway. So getting more efficient, I found a lookup from town to latitude longitude so that I could just put the nearest town in the raw data and then let R work out the coordinates. Then I realized that I'm too lazy to even do that. So I went searching for the raw data and found it on data.world. Thanks again to Timothy Renner. I need to explain what the dot size means. Bigfoot sightings are categorized as A, B or C. The biggest dots are always category A, smaller dots are Bs and Cs. For most years, the small dots are Bs. So what are these classifications all about? Class A. Class A reports involve clear sightings in circumstances where misinterpretation or misidentification of other animals can be ruled out with greater confidence. For example, there are several footprint cases that are very well documented these are considered Class A reports because misidentification of common animals can be confidently ruled out, thus the potential for misinterpretation is very low. Class B. Incidents where a possible Sasquatch was observed at a great distance or in poor lighting conditions, and incidents in any other circumstances that did not afford a clear view of the subject are considered Class B reports. Class B reports are not considered less credible or less important than Class A reports. Both types are deemed credible enough by the BFRO to show to the public. For example, one of the best documented reports ever received by the BFRO is a Class B report from Trinity County, California. It involved a very credible witness who backpacked into a remote area that has a history of Sasquatch related incidents. He described various occurrences around his camp at night that are strongly suspected to be sca sca <laughs> Sasquatch related. The report is still considered Class B though, because there was no clear visual observation to confirm what was heard outside the tent. 
Class C. Most second-hand reports and any third-hand reports or stories with an untraceable source are considered Class C because of the high potential for inaccuracy. Those reports are kept in BFRO archives but are rarely listed in it publicly in the database. The exceptions are for published or locally documented incidents from before 1958, before the word Bigfoot entered the American vocabulary, and sightings mentioned in non-tabloid newspapers or magazines. If you're interested in a full R code tutorial, please like and comment. I'm really keen to do this if there's some demand for it. I think that there should be a mathematical way to pinpoint the most likely place in the USA to see Bigfoot. From the map, it looks like it's probably somewhere near the Wenatchee National Forest. I don't know, Wenatchee, is that right? In Washington. I know I'm not from around there. If you are, please comment below with your experiences. And if you have a great idea about how to do, how to mathematically pinpoint the highest probability, um, please comment, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video.